Alright. Here's my sweet leaf. This one had gotten sick. But um, it had bugs on it, so I cut off the leaves and it's coming back now. But this, these, oof, the sunlight. Sunshine, man. I can't get a good picture. Man, get out of here, you fly. Did you find her? They've yeah. been trying to give them out, boy. Yeah, I got like six packs of them in there. Oh my gosh, what is this one doing? What is this one? And the grapes like their trellis. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Snoop Doopy. They'll be out. Sure enough. Oh, yeah, but this is, I can see this one on the video. Because the sunshine, it messes up. I can't see. Mm. But, uh, do this. Oh, I think I can get it to be even taller. Is it this one? I don't know. I think it's this one. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's pretty tall. But uh when do you see any grapes yet? Any flowers? They should be mm -hmm. coming. The flowers should be coming. This is August. I don't see, I see none yet. The bees keep checking. <laughs> I didn't. I wasn't sure if we'd get flowers this year. Right? Right? right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Tell me. Tell me about this one. Okay. Now this is the L Top Tomato. We got these seeds for free from everyone we ordered seeds from, from Baker's Creek to uh johnny z John, yeah everyone was giving out this l top i free. wonder why <laughs> so i planted one to test it out there's like six clusters of tomatoes on here so i'm pretty pleased with it it was pretty good with being disease resistant now it's showing a little bit of wear and tear but that. it's still producing a lot of tomatoes up here but did, in zone did, did it four. grow really tall like the other ones behind us? It didn't really grow tall like a, a true indeterminate tomato. Okay. Um, but it did catch up to the indeterminates in growth really quickly and it produced a lot and most of the tomatoes survived even in the 100 degree heat. Nice. So this is a keeper. Okay, that's a keeper. So this is the sweet potatoes. Yes, this uh, sweet potato patch is growing wonderfully. We trimmed it a little bit because it was going outside <laughs> the gate oh, and we gosh. wanted to keep it in the yard. Yeah. And trimming it is supposed to help produce tubers. Mm -hmm. But I'm very excited. It's pretty healthy. Once all the leaves die back, then I know I got sweet potato tubers under there to harvest. Nice. I'm thinking, and we can, we can make the since it's growing now we can make slips from it yes. so we can have it next year well we can save a tuber and make slips from it one of the tubers we can save and make slips for it for next year mm -hmm. and it'll grow even better since it's already growing in our zone four garden mm -hmm. so that's pretty exciting and in the back we see our okra <laughs> it's growing kind of slow the little ones uh. it was planted later but the tall one is the one we saved. It bent, the stem broke, and we put a little tape around it, and it really wanted to live. We had a couple of okras I took off of there, so it's starting to produce more, so we'll have a little bit of okras, too. Nice. 